I'll switch over to the design I created earlier for this tutorial to demonstrate how to ensure your document is set up for print production. I'll then use the template file to verify the layout and positioning of my card before saving the artwork. First, let's discuss this document's color mode. As you can see, this document is set up in RGB color. This is incorrect for print production. To change this, I can simply go to File, and then Document Color Mode, and switch it from RGB to CMYK color. This document is now in the correct color mode. It's important to note that Illustrator allows you to design in spot colors, such as Pantone. If you're intentionally designing in a spot color because your final printed piece will contain a spot color, then it's okay to leave those active when saving the file. However, if your final piece will only print in four color process, you will need to convert any spot colors to CMYK prior to saving. As an example, the word stellar lighting is in Pantone 877. To convert this, I can do one of two things. In the color palette, I can click on the cyan, magenta, yellow, and black button to convert this spot color, or I can go to Edit, Edit Colors, and then convert to CMYK. If any of your images inside your document are in RGB color, you will need to convert those to CMYK prior to saving your file. To do this, simply click on an image, go to Edit, Edit Colors, and then convert to CMYK. Let's talk about document size. It's important that your document is set up to the trim size of the final piece. For this business card, the final size will be 3.5 wide by 2 tall. I can verify this document size in Illustrator CS4 by clicking on the Artboard tool or in previous versions of Illustrator by going to File and then Document Setup. As you can see, this document is set up to 8.5 by 11, which is incorrect. I will go ahead and change this to 3.5 by 2, which is the correct document size for the business card. Now that this document is set up in the correct size, let's discuss bleed. As I mentioned earlier, bleed is important to include in your files when you have images or elements going to the edge of the document. Looking at this business card, you can see that my background goes directly to the edge of the document and does not extend past. This card does not have bleed. When I created the file for this tutorial, I made the background large enough so that I could add bleed by making the background one eighth of an inch bigger on each edge. As you can see, my business card's background now extends past the document's edge by one eighth of an inch on each edge. I'll demonstrate this by bringing up two guidelines. The inside guideline is the trim line. The outside guideline is the bleed area line. While I added bleed to this document by increasing the size of my background, this was for demonstration purposes only. Doing this on your final document could cause the image to be blurry or pixelated when it prints. It's recommended that any image or element which will bleed be set up to the proper size and resolution prior to importing them into Illustrator. This ensures they will print in the highest quality possible. We have now covered the basic steps to ensure our file is correctly set up for print production. Let's use the template we opened earlier to double check our work and verify that we have the correct position and layout of the card that we just designed. Before I switch to the template file, I'm going to go back to the layers palette. I'm going to add a layer called template. This is where I'll place the template information we'll be bringing into this document to verify everything is correct.
Once inside the template file, I'm going to select only the three lines, the bleed line, the trim line, and the safe area line. And then I'll copy those. And ensuring I'm on the templates layer, I'll paste those in. With the three lines selected, I'll simply center them into my document. Once I've placed that template into my design, I can clearly see that everything on this card appears to be correct. First, all of my text falls within the safe area. This ensures none of it will be trimmed off. My bleed goes to the edge of the bleed area past the document area by an eighth of an inch on each edge. Everything on this file appears to be ready to go. Before I do anything else, as I mentioned earlier, it's important to remove any of the templates or information layers before saving your file. I can do this by clicking the eyeball and turning the layer off, or I could delete this layer. Now that we have verified that this card is correctly set up, deleted the templates layer, and also removed any information on the card which shouldn't be on the final printed piece, we are ready to save it. To save this file, go to File, and then Save As. From here, let's name our card. I'll name this one StellarBC-CCP-Final. I'm going to save it to the desktop. If you have a folder or another place where you prefer to save your files, simply find it and save it there. Once you've done that, from the Format drop-down box, we want to select the Adobe PDF setting. Once you've selected the Adobe PDF format, click on Save. Once you've clicked on Save, a dialog box will open giving you different options for the settings of the PDF you are saving. From the Adobe PDF Preset drop-down box, if you've installed the Copycraft PDF presets, you can select the CCP option. You can look at all the different settings for Copycraft's PDF presets. However, there's no need to change any of these settings. Once you've selected the CCP option, click on Save PDF. Once the file is finished saving, let's go ahead and open it up in Adobe Acrobat to verify everything is correct. If you don't have Adobe Acrobat, you can open up this file in Adobe Reader as well. To verify that the proper PDF settings were used and that everything is correct, I'm looking for three things on this document. First, does it have crop marks? Which it does. Next, does the bleed extend past the crop marks? As you can see, it does. Next, is everything in this document centered with inside the artboard. Looking at this document, everything appears to be centered. This document appears to be ready for print production. Let's take a look at a file that was saved with a different set of PDF settings, just so you can see the difference. As you can see, this document contains no crop marks. Also, if we look at the size of this document, you'll notice that it's 3.5 by 2, and it has no bleed. This document is incorrect and is not set up properly for print production. Hopefully this video tutorial has helped you understand how to set up a file in Adobe Illustrator for print production, how to use a template, and how to save a file using Copycraft's PDF presets. For a print-ready checklist, our file setup guidelines, information on sending files, or other video tutorials, please visit our support center at copycraft.com.